So you wanna start using Logic Pro X, but you have no idea what you're doing. Don't worry, I've been there. I hope I can help you as much as I can in this video. Let's get straight into it. Now, I did have another video talking about beat making. If you're a beginner at beat making, you wanna start making beats and stuff like that. But some people were saying that they need an even more of a beginner tutorial. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'm here to help. So let me do a real, real beginner. Like how to start even using it. What are all the buttons? and things like that. So as soon as you open it up, you're gonna see this screen right here is gonna say empty project or live loops. You're gonna go to new project and go to empty project, choose right here. This is the first thing that's gonna pop up once you choose an empty project. So when it shows you software instrument, what this means is that you're gonna choose an instrument within, within the DAW itself. And if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, you're like, what is a DAW? <laughs> DAW is basically a digital audio working station, which means it's Logic, FL Studio, Ableton, um, Pro Tools, anything that's digital and anything that you can make music in and that's digital and it's not analog like those old school long mixing boards that we used to have back in the days, which we, we still have them in live events, but I'm saying those long mixing boards that some producers still have, everything is digital, okay? We do everything digital, digitally with our computers. So software instrument, that means you're gonna choose an instrument within here, and I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. Audio is if you wanna record something outside, like I'm recording right now, my voice, this is audio. I'm recording with the mic, this is considered audio because you're recording an audio sound that's not internally inside the DAW. If you push drummer, it's just gonna give you some options to play some drums, but you know, that's you can mess around with that if you like. Guitar or bass is if you got an actual external guitar out here that you can play externally and record live into the DAW. And every time I say DAW, I'm talking about Logic Pro. External MIDI is if you have a keyboard, a, a piano keyboard with sounds already, and then you just wanna connect it straight into your in, into Logic Pro and record with the sounds that the keyboard brings already. Now, if you don't have anything at all, anything, and you don't even have a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard, which is this right here, a MIDI keyboard means you have something that has no sounds at all. You're just using it as a tool to create music that with, with sounds that Logic already has. So if you have nothing, nothing at all, I'm gonna show you. So first click software instrument right here. I honestly recommend for anybody that's using Logic for the first time, go to instrument here, click Alchemy. Just click Alchemy because Alchemy is gonna take you to a bunch of sounds. So just click on that so you can just dabble around and leave this one on audio one and two, don't even touch them. And then number of tracks, number of tracks means that you're just gonna make one single track, which means you just want one track to open up. And I'll show you what I mean in a little bit. Click create and we have our first track that we created. So this is a track right here that you created. Um, you could click this arrow off. This track right here is what you just created when you were choosing all those options. If you wanna create a second track, meaning bring out another software instrument, you click this plus sign here and see this window pops up again. Now for right now, we're just gonna work on this one track, which is right here because we don't need to complicate things. This is all you need right here. This little button right here is what pops out all the sounds. So it's like a little filing box, which makes sense because it's like, you know, all the sounds you can use. If you want to download all the sounds that Logic comes with, you go to Logic Pro X up here. You go to Sound Library, and then you go to download all available sounds. You click on that, um, and then you press continue, and then it'll just guide you from there. And you want to download all the song, all the sounds. It might take you like an hour or so or less, depending on how fast your computer is. And then you have all the sounds, but it already comes with a good amount of sounds if you don't want to like store so many sounds in your in your MacBook. I get it. Now the easiest way to choose sounds, the easiest way is just to go by off of this right here. If you want to remove it, like I said, click this icon and click it back. So the easiest way is okay, like let's just say uh, I just want to play something with keys, like something easy. You click on this keys right here and then you start picking. Okay, I want gentle sign bells. You clicked on gentle side bells and you can start playing something. If 
But like I said before, if you don't have a keyboard, you're like, dude, you're playing. You already know how to play. Like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. You go up here where it says window and then you put show musical typing keyboard. Okay. And right here, it shows you can literally click on all these. You can hold it and it'll click. Like all right. And if you want to play chords, obviously it's a little hard, but you can go with the, like S, uh, S, F, and H. See, just click on these. If you want to play a chord or something like that. Um, but yeah, you just go to window and it pops up the keyboard. I'm, I already have my MIDI keyboard, so I'm just going to click this off. Now that we got all that out the way, you're like, okay, I know how to pick my sound. I know how to open up. I know how to open up a track. I know how to do all of that stuff. Now, how do I record something? The way you want to record something is this little red button right here is the way you record something. You could literally press it. It'll give a countdown and you start recording. All right, I could just. And then it, it recorded what I just played because I'm, I'm pressing the red button. All right, and you're like, okay, I want to see what I recorded though. I want to know like what to do, what, to, what, how do I show, like what I do next. You know, what do I do next after this? You can easily click on this, double click this, and it'll show you the keys you were playing on the keyboard right here. And then from there, you can actually adjust. Like, okay, I can drag this down, click it, hold it, drag it down wherever I want, drag this down or drag this up, drag this up, drag it down, whatever you're feeling, right? You're saying, eh, I don't really like what I played. I want to start over. Then go just click on this and press the backspace button done you're done completely <laughs> now you're like okay but i want something to loop i want it to keep looping like while i'm recording the easiest way to do this is by clicking this these arrows right here that's the loop button and you see that yellow space bar came up okay so that is going to be your loop so for whatever you play from one all the way to five it's going to keep looping so for instance i'm just going to give a brief example okay and you always want to click your metronome on when you're making like a song because it keeps the rhythm going here we go there you go okay so i recorded something really quick right now that's going to loop as soon as i was done with the last note i played I just let it go. I was like, so now I just recorded. And you could take your metronome off now. Click it off. It just goes back to the same thing again. And you're like, okay, so that's cool. Now I want to record something over what I just played. Now you, like I said before, now we come and use this plus sign right here. Boom. Comes out to the very first thing that we can't we were doing when we first when we when we first chose a um we first chose an inst when instrument so we go to software instrument again create boom a second track the easiest way to do this is just double click one because you already know what this is right because we just learned earlier so now you just double click here double click double click and just make as many tracks as you want you wouldn't want that many just back backspace 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 now you're like okay i want to record over this You're like, okay, so how to record over it? Now you and you select it. Now if, you, if you've selected this one, that means you want to go back to this track. Now you're like, I want to record over that one, but still with that one playing. Okay, cool. Then you click on the instrument too, which you made that second track. Now you don't have a sound selected yet. Remember that's so all right now. It's like some it's just the random sound that Al that Alchemy chose for you, that Logic chose for you. So what you want to do again, you want to go here. If you, you want to choose something from here, the quick sampler, um, orchestral, like I said, you could choose your instruments here. Now I don't have all the sounds downloaded for alchemy because I have like my own sounds that I use. Um, but you, if you, once you download all your sounds, you can use them. So let's just say I want to use like an, a vintage electric piano now, like modern deluxe modern. Now it changed. You see the little picture it changed. So now, now is that now what you want to do is click the record button again and it's going to count down and you record over it.
and simple. Just press the space bar, stops recording, and then you're done. And you're like, eh, I wanna redo it. I don't like how that sounds. All you gotta do is Command Z and it comes out. Just redoing. Or you could just press the backspace and you're good again. Let's just say you don't want this first sound to hear. You wanna record something again, but you wanna keep this one. You don't wanna delete it yet, but you just don't want to hear while you're recording something else. All you gotta do is press this little M right here. It's called the mute. Now, when you press the space bar and plays, you don't hear anything and you could play the other one. But it's pretty much the same concept. You keep opening something up. You, you just choose a drums on the sound and then you start playing with the drums. Um, let me know what else you guys want to see. And let me know if this video was helpful for you guys. But till next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay blessed and stay positive. Peace.